Most of the time when you buy special editions of games, when they have a soundtrack, it's on an audio CD format. Frequently, they'll also give you a download link, and this is done frequently with vinyl versions of albums, where you'll buy the vinyl and you'll actually get a code you can enter in to download the complete entire album on MP3 format as well, in case you don't want to hook your turntable up to your computer and rip each and every song in real time. Now, it's easy to see why when you order a game and you get the special edition with the soundtrack, it's almost always on CD. After all, CDs are very cheap to make, and they can be packed into the case easily, and of course CDs are versatile as you can play them on just about any computer with an optical drive. And unless you either have a computer with a broken optical drive, or a new hip and trendy Apple product that took out the optical drive because it's not hip anymore, you can rip CDs easily. And then you can take these CDs that you ripped and put them on just about any device you own. From your MP3 player, to your cell phone, to your car stereo system, using a flash drive, it's very easy to do. On the other hand, Nintendo decided to do something different with their new release, Xenoblade Chronicles X. Instead of putting the game soundtrack on a disc, they decided to put it on a flash drive in WAV format. Now, what could possibly go wrong with that? I mean, you're getting these raw files you can copy and do anything you want to with. Well, that's the theory, because what Nintendo actually did was they put it on a flash drive loaded with DRM. Now, what is this DRM, you may ask? Well, you plug the flash drive in, and then to play it, it has to modify some Windows policies and files. Now, what does that sound like? That sounds like malware, the stuff that you have to go through a bunch of steps to remove and restore the settings to how they were back then. And considering how Windows hides everything in the registry, this can be even harder. Now what does this flash drive do, you might ask? Well, when you plug it in, it takes control of the Y drive on your computer and locks it so that it can only play music on the stick that it tries to hide. And it actually hides the Y drive. Now, why is this a bad thing? Well, let's just say you were an employee at a company and you want to listen to Xenoblade's soundtrack on their work computer. So you plug the flash drive in and guess what your workplace does or school because schools do the same thing. I've seen it at my school. What they'll do is they'll use the Y drive as a network mounted drive where they'll store important files on there or you can store your files on there or, or you know what I mean, stuff like that. And what the device will do is it will mess up this setting and the IT people at whatever school or workplace you're at will have to set it back. And they likely won't like to have to do it because they'll think it's some malware or something. And in reality, it was your flash drive with that DRM on it. This also keeps you from putting the music easily on any other device such as your phone or playing it in your car. And if you own a Mac or Linux based machine, you cannot use this flash drive because the DRM requires Windows. So if you own a Mac or have a Linux box, you cannot use this with it. So in other words, not only is this DRM modifying your Windows settings, but it also keeps you from listening to the music anywhere but on your Microsoft Windows PC with the DRM, and that is not a good thing. And you know what? DRM like this should be banned because all it does is it screws over the consumer and it has no purpose in this day and age, especially where people want to listen to their music anywhere. And that's all that needs to be said. Don't buy the special edition of Xenoblade Chronicles X until either they send people a music CD, which shouldn't cost too much, or issue an apology or something like that. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.